everybody. What's up? <laughs> I have the fabulous Courtney Reed here. Hello. Spirit sprinkles. Spirit. Oh, wait, wait. Tail wag. I don't <laughs> have a tail. tail. Why, did I get, why did I got gypped on the tail? I got the unicorn. And why am I sad? Why am I oh, sad? Oh, like Care, Care Bear. bear. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Um, if you're just logging on, uh, of course, it's the state of the wine, so appreciate everybody. <laughs> Man, she's laughing. Hi. Wait, how can you read that? I am how like superhero eyes. Oh yeah. my goodness. I'm yeah. not only Care Bear, <laughs> I also have supervision <laughs> eyes. <laughs> um, so I put out a poll um, last week of things that you guys wanted to know more about. And you guys, of course, were all had a couple of options. And team building. Team building was the number one, 100% especially with the Scout Summit approaching. I know everyone's like, oh my goodness, like that's amazing as we start to do more things that way to get, um, get me hey, to director, get, get, get me up? to director, director, <laughs> director. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. You have to qualify for director by uh, July, uh, July 1st, <laughs> yes, for Scout Summit, uh, which is gonna be in the wine country in Sonoma Valley. Uh, we're gonna meet some of our amazing partners um, like the Anitsi and the, Horse and Plow, and some of the, the great people that we've been working with already, and the makers of the Giasari. Don't want to miss it. Girasole. 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 Oh, there you go. Girasole. Nabara. Um, so, yes, so welcome, Courtney. Tell me a little bit about when you started and how many people are on your team. So, I started back, I was at one of the first meetings when um, it was back in the old warehouse. My friends, Natalie and Adrian, we went together. Hello, if you're on. And um, I signed that day. So it's kind of been a fast trajectory with like 170 people on my team. Score! Boom! Unicorn Boom. magic! That's double spirit sprinkles <laughs> and rainbows from my, I don't know what, I have boys, I don't know what unicorns If you yeah. thought I was crazy, yeah. you haven't yeah. met. There's Victoria's yeah. another level, and then there's then Courtney there's me in another level. <laughs> who said we should totally have a theme for tonight's call. Right? So. And I was like, what? Yes. A theme? <laughs> Did you say theme? <laughs> so anyways, yes. No, I have an awesome team. We're the Wild Vines. Oh, yeah, you can't even. Mm, wild Vines. Yes. Representing. So anyways, yes. We've got four directors on the team now, and um, we're going to have more in California. California, you're spreading your wings. We sure are. Although you're not a Pegasus, so. Oh, you're I don't know what that That's means. That's okay. That's okay. That works. Anyways. Um, so, yeah, so most important I know is what are we drinking tonight? Of course, the fabulous Testa family. We have the. Perignon. Perignon. I like the way you say that. Does anyone Mendocino know County. what else is made with this varietal? Oh, yeah, question. We may have some prizes mm. if you know. Mm. Ask the question again. Ask the question again. What other wine do we have currently that is made with this particular varietal? Carignan. Carignan. Anyone know? We may have a few prizes oh. uh -oh. to give away today. Uh -oh. I'm just saying, from a team building standpoint, from sparking interest and sparking that conversation, these little wine cups are pretty fabulous. They're pretty money. So I may have some giveaways. And so. if they do get stained with, um, you know, oh, red okay, wine. Okay, we have some questions. All right, we have um, 14K Rosé. Yay, Elizabeth! Yes. Oh, what? what? Oh, 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 I'm going to have to go back oh, we, and we, see we, had, we had a few. Yes, you got a few. Test of Black. Oh, just 14K Rosé. Okay. Oh, yeah, they're all coming uh, in. Okay, yeah. we'll go through we and see lots. who was first as they're coming in. Way to go, guys. Yes, and is that a Care Bear? It is, Erin. It's a Care Bear. And, it's just um, the sad one. It's the sad Care yes. Bear. <laughs> so why, why this? Well, basically, we wanted to say, like, let's get back to the wine and the fun. And once you can get to Happyville with your wine and you're spreading your fun and how much fun you're having on this journey, this clean crafted journey, they call it, then people are going to naturally be attracted to that. If you're the person out just talking everything about how much fun you're having, how you're meeting new people at tastings and how... Um, what a great opportunity this is, and it's just fun for you. If we just get back to the fun, that is one of the best ways to grow your team. Making it not seem like it's such like a burden and serious and we have to reach these goals and these goals. It will happen right. organically if you make it a blast because wine is a blast. Right. and if you're having fun, so keep that in mind yes. when you're doing your social so media post and sharing. The unicorn drinking wine. Can we right, who doesn't want to hang, right? Hello, <laughs> for fun. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hashtag Happyville wine. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Wisha. You're right. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Um, we had a couple of like, hey, Pam and Melissa, everybody for watching. I love it. Yes, Erin Bowes, of course, was here last couple of weeks ago and on Saturday. She did the Scout and Cellar workout again. Mm. Fun. It's mm-hmm. all about the fun and mm-hmm. sharing the social. So on to the business of the team building. Uh, we kind of pulled uh, combined again because Courtney, I think, has brought the best of that with her team. Um, you have just friends and I think you, you literally just recruited in a whirlwind of just you all were having fun you came up with your own gang sign we, we are we're gonna have a crazy like that. Summer gang sign we'll have to work um, on that one. CC in the house CC <laughs> what I'll have to yeah like the CC yeah, yeah we'll, we'll work like on that, that. Like it. it's like Chanel but, oh, maybe Ooh. those will be my giveaways a Chanel <laughs> yes Coco okay Chanel. Okay, okay. yeah director of we get a Chanel bag now. right yeah no I'm kidding I'm kidding <laughs> She said it. <laughs> Thank you. Or right. Cartier. Wait, wait, wait. We have some other ideas too. I think oh yeah. Is, on, is it like maybe a Cartier watch or something? You know? Cartier, right? Cartier. Oh, whatever. Like Anyways, that. it's got to be brand. It's got to be clean though, so it'll be like oh, a cork mind. earrings or something. <laughs> cork earrings. <laughs> Team building. On to team building. Mm-hmm. So we kind of talked about a couple of things that were kind of important. Um, and all like C's, the crazy seller, back to the C's, right? We got like seven or eight C's for yes, you. Yes, the character. So, you know, without integrity, I, don't, I think we may have lost a little dignity. Yeah. Dignity oh, and yeah. integrity are two different Should things. Should we take our hats off? Maybe so, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so. Okay. No. <laughs> Okay. Um, you always want to yeah. keep a lighthearted attitude, you know, and you know, someday when you look back and you laugh and, and you'll go through and you know, you, you do it as if your life depended on it and thinking that your life depended on it. Meaning, and this is, this is, you, you want to make sure that people know that you're having a good time, you're authentic and you're serious about what you're doing, but you're having it in a lighthearted, fun way. Um, so always making sure that your character is intact and that you, you, you know who you are and you can find somebody and find someone else to kind of emulate that you like what they're doing. But make it your own character. Make it your own person. And so that's kind of pertinent. So that's... I do love, like, our branding, though. When we talk about character, I think that our brand, like, Scout and Seller just has really good branding. We have great people who create these beautiful, like, imagery, you know, the tasting cards and stuff. So I think that's when you talk about the brand's character. Like, that's what speaks to us, the clean and everything like that. So characters, you know, brand and yourself. Love it. Love it. The second C is commitment. So we always talk about um, finding your why and like why you're doing this or why you signed up to begin with, whether it's, you know, to have extra cash to pay for your kids' sports or if it's to conquer wine world, like I intend on doing with, you know, all of us. Yes. So we yes. will. Um, go back to that why. Every time you're feeling discouraged or whenever you have a bad day or a bad week or two bad tastings and stuff, go back to that why and remain committed to that why and um don't let the fear of it all trip you up so if you had an opportunity call and it didn't go the way you wanted well pick yourself up put your big girl panties on and onward and upward or put your care bear or your unicorn whatever panties you have put them on whatever they may be Yes. And move on, move on, and stay committed to your why. Even if it's something good, something bad, use that good to make you even better and your bad to make you good. So there we go. So what's your why? Well, my why stems back to, I'm just kidding, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I do tell people this. I, when, I mean, Lauren and I have some friends that started Rodan and Fields, like they were part of that founding group, and now they're in the Million Dollar Club banking, right? And I swore I would never let another one of those opportunities pass me by. And it took eight years, seven years maybe, but I found that opportunity. And I'm willing to be on the bumpy journey or the journey, may it be up and down and whatever. I'm willing to do that to get to the top. And I'm convinced that this is it. And I... If you know me, I wouldn't put my eggs in a basket that wasn't going to be big. It's going to be big. It's already big. $5 million. Make you holla. Right? Score. Yes. Love it. Cheers to that. Cheers. And the $5 million if you yes. missed that on the reserve room. Yes. For sure. So the third C is certainty. And it really is that be absolutely certain that you know the product. And it doesn't mean you have to know every bottle that's in there. When you're going to a tasting and you're being prepared, yes, that's very important to kind of know that. But be certain that you understand what the clean crafted is and what it means and that we're on the journey 
to discover the unknown good and understanding that it is not just the product, it is the whole clean crafted. We are changing the way wine is made. We're changing the way the world sees wine. We're not finding it. And it's basically going to those two main concepts of it's grown naturally and bottled consciously. Y'all add a tasting on that note. One of these, these girls said it great. It was at Abby's tasting. She was like trying to grasp the whole like small batch and it's not gonna be there. And she was like, I think I'm understanding this. This is for people who want to explore and are on a journey to learn more on a journey to discover new, like I had never really drank some Carignan before. I was like, I'm a cab girl or whatever, but it's about the journey and exploration and stuff. And if you can convey that to people, yes. they'll want to hop on. Right. So like the, you know, people with their stitch fix or their birch box yes. or their, right. That's how we also need to approach like our wine clubs, right? Totally. It's, it's, this is, this is what I got. And, and, and that's what we should probably be doing. It's the mm -hmm. unveiling of our mm -hmm. 12 bottle or six bottle wine club, you know, and that's why I would encourage you. You don't have to, but you can, I would encourage you to be a wine club member yourself just because you have access to other wines and just the excitement of, oh my gosh, I'm pulling out my wines. This is from Portugal. This is from Spain. Um, the it's 12 amazing. bottle mix in case y'all are not on it. You get the whole test of family, oh. like the entire fam. We got Carignan, we got the Charbonneau, you got the Testa Black and the Coro. Oh, cab. I like the Testa family. All over my face. Oh, they seem, but they seem pretty awesome. Oh. I'm just saying, yes. <laughs> Anyway, yes, which yes. brings us to compassion. So obviously, <laughs> compassion and passion, my strength. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes my passion overrides my compassion, and I need to like reel it back in a bit. No, nope, makes but you fabulous. So people I love mean, you. <laughs> hey, no. So I love what there's a sheet on Crazy Seller. What kind of consultant are you? And if you talk to someone on any type of opportunity call, figure out what is their why. Like what, why is this even something they want to ask about? Why is this something they're interested in? Like, what is this? Why are we right. talking? Do they have headaches? Do they have celiac? Right. Do they have some, you know, I mean, other I didn't drink wine for seven years because wow. of my allergy situation, but now I drink very regularly. Right? Right? Well, so anyway, right? yeah, so <laughs> compassion. So if you figure out there, like figure out like why we're even having this conversation and then take that and sell to that. I don't right. want to say sell to that, but if they're like, you know, I really want to quit my job, so I really need a large income. Well, you take that and then you formulate your conversation to go with their why. Right. And I make it about them. And whenever they feel like you're connecting with them and you're like meeting their needs and stuff, then boom, like light right. bulbs. Is so, it a side hustle? Is it a... Yes. Right. And it, I, that, I love that time. sheet. Their is mom, it like yes. a hobby? Is it you just want to get commission on wine? You're already drinking, you know, stuff like that. Figure out like it may be that, but then you're going to find those amazing people that want to have like conquer wine, the yes. whole world of wine, right? Right. Like, and then that, I love that. So that's compassion. That's the four C's. So then we have one more five. We have, we have more C's. But we have got connected. a couple more for you guys. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I, I can't mm. count. Yeah. Math mm -hmm. is not my strong point. One and the other mm -hmm. thing was connectedness. Um, and again, it's that, again, when you're talking to somebody and you're recruiting them and you're talking to them in that short span of, of whatever time, opportunity you have, whether it's next to them in an airplane or at a baseball game, which is where you came from, which explains the wind. Well, I came from a baseball yeah, game. Sorry. We had a very strong wind situation. <laughs> right. So I couldn't get my fingers through my hair. Just, yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking, wow. like, so, but connecting, right? So finding that, are they another mom? Was it a friend from, you know, finding that connection, you know, do you also have kids? Are you looking for a side? Are you working a full-time job, but your kid got signed up for select soccer and it's like hundreds of dollars a month. And you know, find that connection. Do you, you know, other health. And if it's not your own story, it doesn't have to be. You can find that connectedness between them of like, oh my gosh, like, no, again, it's that compassion and then turning it into finding that connection to somebody and like, and really listening. There's a difference between, and I know sometimes it's hard when you're meeting with somebody and that opportunity comes in and you're just thinking about, am I saying the right thing? I think you really need to listen to them and listen and connect to them and, and make sure that you're, you're understanding and reaching <coughs> them on another level because that just, that's, that, I think that's really important that some people will miss that. Because I sometimes do that. I don't listen very well. What is it? You listen, but you're not hearing, or you're hearing, you're not listening. You're hearing, but it? you're not listening. Mm, yeah, that, that one. That may be the problem. Mm. Maybe you, that's as like, a mother, I feel like that's my issue as well. <laughs> that's a whole nother <laughs> level of connectedness then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Clarity is another C. 
Um, whenever you're on a call, I think everything needs to be clear. So the next step in this process is you getting signed up and then we have a whole process and training set for you. I'm going to go ahead and forward you the documents. Um, just I'll get the notification that you signed and then I will send you within a couple of hours a set of documents that'll get you started a quick um, here's 10 things you can start doing today, close them and say, you know, this is exactly how it is. This is the, just be very clear about what the next step is. And then also, um, I think being clear about the business, I feel like when you set these expectations or these unrealistic goals, it can kind of be frustrating for someone saying, oh, you can make like $4,000 your first month, right? <laughs> Totes. I mean, <laughs> you have to be realistic, right? right? And that's okay, I made, right? I yes, made, yeah. made 8,000 my first month. Did you? Wow. Yeah. I probably drank 8,000. <laughs> Just, Just kidding. kidding. That's not, we do not condemn. Way. Yes. Yeah. So be very clear. That's, I mean, I, I'm kid, I'm totally kidding on that. But whenever we say, oh, this is an easy job and no work and all that, just be like very clear. This is how much, how many hours I put in. This is what I get out of it. You don't have to throw out numbers, but um, just know it does require some work. It's fun work. Yes. And um, then from there, like the expectation is, and then you don't leave any room for disappointment, any type of like, oh gosh, I'm not succeeding like her. So what am I doing wrong and stuff? So I love that. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely being clear. And that's something too, I think that we've, I think we've got a lot of great documents that are out there that I know that even Jennifer Knott is working on. Basically a checklist of onboarding, of saying, yes. okay, if you have a new consultant PDF, it's this, 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 and this is the order that you send it. And that also gives you a little more confidence when you're onboarding somebody to know, okay, I'm gonna send them this new consultant PDF, I'm gonna add them to the crazy seller, I'm gonna add them to the yes. reserve room, and then I'm gonna tag them in these two videos or whatever yes. in this. And, then, and, and, and I think when you're good. new, like I feel like the day I signed, within a few days I had a few people because I'm spreading my excitement, but then again, you're kind of like frozen because you're like, but I don't even know the business or the products and all that. But we're going to have a process that's basically like, awesome, you're new. Here's what you do. Now when you have a downline, here's what you do. So it's gonna, it's, we're kind of formulating all that right now. But there's so many documents out there on Crazy Seller and the file section, et cetera. Yeah. That are so helpful, yes. like way helpful. Appreciate that. They're going to say it was too much. I was like, and so Love I know we need to kind of update and delete. So always make sure you look at the dates. Um, and I'll, I know we need to go Don't through Don't pull like September. And right, be yes, like, yeah, it'll be a little off. Most <laughs> awesome document, mail a check-in. Right. Whatever. Okay, so Trish, um, hey Trish, how are you? We got a question she talks, ask about, oh, oh, I love what you said. Treat it like a hobby and it would pay you like a hobby. Yes, if you're going to treat it like a side yes. hustle, it's a side hustle. Mm -hmm. um, but it, right, if you're treating it very consistently. And then being consistent, you know, I think that's something too that... Um, it's another C word yes. of doing that. Like I will post something every day that, you know, and literally I will say things. I'll take one day that I'm supposed to be paying attention at dance or soccer mm -hmm. or something. And then I'll literally like save a bunch of things. And I literally have an album that literally is next post. And I will literally, that's in every morning because white people are checking their phones in the morning and they're checking them in the evening. And so I'm literally just posting something every day on my business page. I'll share it in my VIP group or something to where at least I'm consistently going out there. Because if they don't know that you're working it, they sometimes think, and that, I think that's something common, I think, in direct sales. People will kind of ebb and flow, and they're like, oh, maybe she's not doing it anymore. So just no. being consistent. And, it, and it's also function. about staying on top of, like, knowledge. You may be overwhelmed right when you sign, or that may be one reason someone doesn't want to sign on because they don't know a lot about wine. I didn't even know how to use a corkscrew. I always, when I joined, oops, didn't either. I always used the electric one. I, had I always used the electric one. Or I had a... Uh, a I gun know. one that was like a revolver what gun. What are you talking about? We we'll use that one tonight. <laughs> Don't tell Sarah. That's a no. Sorry, <laughs> Another great question. So Kelsey, hey Kelsey Charles, she says, "How do you answer to people who approach an MLM business model from a negative perspective?" That was, if you asked my, Natalie, why? What was my number one thing? Is I don't want to be that girl. Like I don't want to be like the annoying like MLM girl and stuff like that. But I went back to a couple things. It's wine, right? Yes. I'm not selling you a necklace that costs $150 and then never getting any other business. I'm selling you wine. It's a consumable and you're going to, I mean, they're going to love the taste and it's a whole different concept. If I was introducing a whole different concept to the world, like we are doing, like think of it as your duty to the world to present something like this. And 
it's not like you're a fourth to market, like an oversaturated market, like the lotions and potions of the world or the jewelry. Like we're first to market. You need to be shouting it from the rooftops and they may be in the periphery for a while, but they're gonna creep on in and eventually be like, so tell me about this, or can I buy some wine? Keep on being you and keep on being proud of what you're doing because it is something to be proud of. Yes, I agree. Totally. We love you, Sarah. We love you, Sarah, woo! She actually, Sarah did send a message. I will say, Sarah texted and said, you weren't kidding, I love you so much right now, you two, because Older, we'd be wearing I mean, when I say unicorn, <laughs> I mean unicorn. <laughs> I, I was like, yeah, no, I love it. Let's do the whole approach of team building, and it's a unicorn team building. And I was <laughs> like, I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> uh, any other questions? Um, let's see. Oh, great. So some great ideas about apps and stuff that you can utilize. Um, why did the comments go away and I can't see them anymore? Um, so there's. So sorry, it went away. I think it was. Did Katie, I know Katie said... I'll talk finale. about, talk about uh, management. I think we were talking about, Chris and I were talking earlier about how some of our consultants can come from customers. So yes. when you're at a tasting and you're like talking about the wine, well, people need to know that they could be you. Like, you can be doing what I'm doing. So if you're at a tasting, about midway through is when I always say, hey, y'all see how much fun this is? And this is like my job, if you can call it that. You can be doing it too. And one thing you need to add to that, write this down. If you don't, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> if you don't want to, do you have any friends or family that are looking for an opportunity like this? We're about six months old, five million bucks. If, I understand if you're not interested, but you got to know someone in your Rolodex that's interested in something like this. I'll give you a bottle of wine for every referral. Boom. Score. Score. Yes. So, working your personal business. That's mind blown. Very important. Yes. Yeah. And your own customers, again, are your low hanging fruit. They always mm -hmm. say your customers are your low hanging fruit. If you're out of tasting, your customers, your people who Rip are Rip that hosting, fruit down, bite into it. Well, maybe not hurry. Sign them up. Like, yeah. No, I get that. No, I get mm -hmm. that analogy. That works, mm -hmm. that works for Thank me. You. Like, take Thank it you. and rip. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then getting out there. You know, I know some things. So, I mean, you know, I know some people talk about they don't have time to do the tastings. You don't have to do the tastings to recruit people and to talk about the wine. Um, again, I think these are some of the best things when you're getting out there and you're working your own personal business. But, you know, if you're at the PTO or at the at the baseball fields or anything like that, I mean, put your put, put coffee in this. You know, we had the gals from Houston, Nicole and Anna came down. They had their coffee in that all morning, and people were like, oh, my gosh. They're like, well, you know, I use it from a coffee cup because it works for my wine. It's too. nice and insulated. Same cup hey, all day. Why not? Um, so I think that's, yes. Yeah, so that's great, too, and I think that's something that you always do. Weren't you like... I might have been <laughs> delivering in the back of the school boxes of wine. <laughs> yes. I didn't know wine wasn't allowed on premises. And so I was like handing it in like grocery bags. And they're like, you need to be more discreet, please, on school premises. <laughs> So Vanessa, thanks for joining us. Yes, we're educating wine drinkers about the clean crafted movement. Yes, when you're hashtagging, use those hashtags on Instagram. Facebook doesn't like hashtags. Facebook only likes a couple of hashtags. If you're an Instagrammer or whatever, hashtag the crap out of it. The more mm -hmm. hashtags, the better. And think of those things you wouldn't think. Wine drinkers, PTO, bad moms. I don't know, like, you know, yeah. vegan, totally. <laughs> things like that. Um, but yeah, you're right. Like you're, in, you're like, it's those people who are like first to market, you're introducing a concept and a product and a brand in this. So everything's new to people. Yes. So like, don't think you're being annoying and MLM-ish when you're introducing a whole different thing, you know? Right. Yes. So yeah. don't, don't be, be proud and kind of like you're doing them a service. And yes. you know what? Your haters, what was it? What is this saying about, um, I know if you don't sign them, someone else will, but your yes. haters... Mandy, what is it that they say your haters are going to be, what was it? Go ahead and comment on that. Right, yes, okay, we'll do that. Erin um, says she took her s &C mug into the coffee shop. Right? Hey, Starbucks, Starbucks, go and fill this up. Can you it's just a grande. It's a grande. You can it's, bring, a grande. it's a grande. <laughs> that ain't no tall, it's a grande. Right, I love it. <laughs> and again, you know, like, again, if you're not talking about the opportunity, like I said, someone else is. So, you know, I think that's always important. That was something that um, Lexi, Callie has said, you know, yes. even if there's other consultants there at an event or whatever it's going to the community, she's still there because again, they may be there and they may said they're going to be there, but if they're not talking about it and she's the one that's out there going around, I mean, yeah, you gotta, you gotta show up to go up. And if you haven't read that book, get over your damn self, it has so many good pointers. And one of them is 
in a company that's growing as fast as ours, like the trajectory was like this, but went like that. If you're not talking and asking someone to be on your team or join you in this journey, somebody else will because that's how fast it's growing. And so you may as well be the one to make your list of all your contacts, go ahead and contact them, and then ask them for referrals. Tell them you'll pay them in wine. It's a great currency I have found. Right. Wine is like yes. better than dollar bills because you know what? It is. Dollar it's, I don't. It's right. Mm. Hustle until your haters ask if you're hiring. Yes. You guys, you. wild viners are Damn. so like, like on the edge cool. I need to work on yes. that. I'm like a little, I'm not so yes. like on the, mm -hmm. I need to work on Your that. haters are going to ask if you're hiring one day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, yep. I it love it. Like I love it. Customers though. I don't know if y'all joined and like your besties in the entire world, like still haven't bought wine from you and you're kind of like, what? Right. Well, whatever. They tiptoe close to and they're like, hey, so I like reds. What do you got for reds? You know? They'll come around. Believe They'll come me. around. Yes, yes. And you know, and, and, I, and I've seen, I see that a lot. I know we get that, we've had that too, where, you know, they're like, wow, you know, my best friend, she buys wine all day long across the street at the grocery store. Why isn't she buying from me? You know what I mean? And again, she's a horrible human being. She's a horrible, <laughs> just because you asked once, <laughs> again, uh -huh. doesn't mean that you can't just approach them again or just said, hey girl, you know, I... Uh, you know, can I yes. share wine? And you just sometimes have to ask them again because sometimes they're almost just as uncomfortable about it yeah. as well and doesn't know how to ask and go, girl, you know what? With the wine club, I said, you can get you can get almost 15% off of your little case that you just did over there right. at Crozier with your little six-pack or little yeah, wine. Yeah, and another Mandy so, thing is just because they say no just means no right now. Yes. Yes. That doesn't mean no in the future. That means no comma. Treat it like not a no period, but a no comma. Right? What was that movie with, um, I'm, I'm a horrible I movie. It was Sarah, if Sarah, you are on here. What's that movie? You have dumb, is it Dumb and Dumber? Where it's like, he's like, well, you know, do I have a chance? He's like, it's like one in a million. Seriously. Have, have a chance. chance. Yes, even if it's a one in a million yes. chance, there's still a chance with that one in it a million. Dumb and Dumber, yeah. Don't prejudge others. That's always yes. a good one to think about. Just because they had a newborn baby, just because they had a new, what, you know. Even if they're pregnant, working, whatever. Pregnant, they they can say, yes, no yes. I have a gal who I've been talking to just recently, and um, she has a new baby, and she's not working, and you know now she's looking for something to kind of do, but now that she has her first newborn, she's looking for something to do at home. She's got the downtime. She can't really go too many places, although you need to get out, girl, if you're watching. Mm -hmm. When they're little and they're sleeping in that little carrier, that's the oh, best that's time. that's like money time. time. Like, oh. time. Be yes. like posting on social media posting, while you're yes. nursing. You're like nursing and posting. Right? Like, <laughs> you got it, girl. Make it rain. Got it right? Like a rain. <laughs> Oh, Keith is on. He said, I wish I could hear you guys. I'm in Orlando watching One Republic. So he's supposed to be paying attention. Yeah. Abby, Dumb and Dumber. Yes, I knew there mm -hmm. were some people out there. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Trish, yes, studies show it takes seven reach outs, even to your own best friend. Again, if you, your best friend, oddly enough, the way these algorithms are on Facebook, I, oh, yeah. I, my neighbor next door, I'll post up and I'm like, how did you not see I'm posting about right. that? She's yeah. like, I don't know. I it don't, doesn't pop it up. It doesn't pop right. up. So again, it doesn't hurt. I will still text her. Hey, you know what? And finally, I'll be like, hey, do you need... Hey, I'm, I'm placing orders. Got to place it by Tuesday if you want it by the weekend. She'll be like, oh, oh, I think I do. You know what? She finally, you finally, and it's okay. You're not bothering her. She asks me all the time for mm -hmm. other things, you know? Um, so, yeah. Abby Cole, great. actually, now that I just heard that. Okay, so Abby said something on our page the other day, which was huge, and that was go back to your customers from your first tasting and your second tasting. Yes. Right when, like, Maybe you had just introduced the concept and it's been two months or whatever, three months, four months, whatever. Go back to them and be like, hey, what, here's some other and some new offerings. Have you had a chance to think about this business? Do you happen to know anyone that is, you know, wanting to jump in at a ground floor opportunity? What is literally the worst they're going to say? No. Okay. But if they say yes and you give them a free bottle of wine for a referral, I mean, Abby has reached out to like all of her like tastings and they'll all buy wine. And she's like, I know you like this. We have this now. And they're like, sure, let me have one. So, right. yeah. I yeah. mean, if you just become like 20 minutes a day dedicated to tasting and follow up. Yes, I love that. And that's one of the things that they'll sometimes say that if you're not recruiting, that's one of the things. You're not following up or you don't have a system for following Abby, up. Abby, this is for you. Abby, <laughs> Abby, yes. For everyone just joining who maybe missed yes. the first part of this. Um, yes. We are talking about team building and how yes. it's important to... To never lose focus. Sometimes you're so focused on recruiting people, you're so focused on qualifying for Scout Summit, 
Again, you lose that fun. And if you totally. lose that fun... It's sad. It's sad. Mm. It's, it's sad, Care Bear. Why again did mm. I get sad? I know, you did get sad, Care Bear. <laughs> Listen, I didn't know it was sad, Care Bear. <laughs> I know, right? Can we all pitch in and get her happy, Care Bear? <laughs> <laughs> Need a good system for CRM follow-up. Any ideas? Okay, so Google Street Abby, is one. Abby, what's up? Allure yeah. of that. You guys, you guys, how did you get? Like, are y'all like, are y'all all millennials? Um, was asking, no. Okay. I mean, Abby works at a high school, though, so she's around oh. like, all of those people. <laughs> so, Abby, teachers. Teachers she are knows great. way more great, about that stuff. Great, great, great. Yes, she's a counselor, too, so she's right. like, really. Abby said it helps the win blow baseball here. Yes. Oh, did, did we win? Oh, okay. I'm assuming we did. Oh, I okay. love it. Um, need a question. Yes, a nice a CRM. So a contact. So you're going back to your contact, you know, management, and kind of the best way. So I, I've been trying to work on some things. I know usually Excel sheets are hard to do. I put it on my calendar. If it's not on my calendar, I don't do it. Again, that's my process. I, I don't do to do list. I can't do to do list. So I literally take like people I need to follow up with and like put them on the calendar a month later. And I literally have a list of them. And then, oh, that, you know I, I mean? like see. To contact I people. thought, like, on a day to day basis, you're like, I'm going to reach out to these people. Oh, no. no. You, like, literally no, put like, them literally, in, yes. in advance. Like, okay. if I have a tasting, everybody who ordered, I take those people and I put them in another list oh, to, like, follow right, up. Right, right. I like that. Yes. yes. And I'm, I'm just starting to do that. I'm just starting because I know that's yes. been rough. And then also, you know, um, you can do what's called, um, is it groups? You can do, like, groups and stuff, or you can do. Friends or There's Google Streak, which Marley, Ooh. because Marley is like what was like the third top selling consultant in our company last oh, month. Marley, Marley, major spirit sprinkles. Yes, spirit sprinkles. So <laughs> she is like well versed in Google Streak and is going to give me a lesson on it. But it's basically moving a customer along a continuum, and it's awesome. And it doesn't let you forget people. And so I mean, I think a spreadsheet interesting but i would love to be able to be like oh someone who likes red and blah 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 you know right so, right we're open to ideas but oh and marley um, said I'm, she's happy to train on google streak <gasps> marley marley maybe we can do a be live screen to screenshot situation yes. and kind of go over some you know some of your google make streak a youtube and like video amazing I love that. right right i Thanks, love that marley. Um, Katie says Trello. It's free. Best organization. Katie also, oh yeah, Trello. So that's a good one to know. Hey, look at Trello. That's spelled T-R-E-L-L-O. Yes. As in, if, for a Mexican, it'd be Trello. Trello. Oh, sure. Right. Hi. I'm from, <laughs> I'm from San Antonio representing. <laughs> Sorry. It's awesome. <laughs> wow. These Other are so hot, Right? Guys. These are like burning up. Other tips is to not be sure to not make it about you. Always make it about them. That's yes. hard to do sometimes. Yes. I'm just saying. It goes back to what their goals are may not be your goals. So let's right. say you're like getting your hair done and you're you're telling your hair girl about this and you happen to know that um, she would love to just be working four days a week if she could only like supplement that. Be like, hey, you know, you can be talking to all your people about this wine and you can be providing them this wine you can be wine writing it all off for expenses and stuff and it's a great way to build up your income to be able to cut back a day or you know it's being relatable figuring out like what their goals are and then you being creative and telling them how to reach those goals yes i love it love that it's just so beautiful right you are a rock star um, right any other tips for team building? Any other questions? Yeah, who else has some tips? Yes, any tips? I love that. I love any recruiting, you know, success yes, stories. Yes, it's a that onesie. Have. Wait, have you not seen the tail? I don't have a tail. I just have the sad. I mean, raining. I do have so, hearts. And we're wearing jeans under this too, guys. So yeah, it's pretty hot in here. It's a little stuffy. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, it's all good. Yeah. Wear deodorant if you're going to recruitment and you're wearing yeah. a onesie, a Care Bear. But I feel like a nice. tasting in a onesie would be pretty much the best tasting ever. Right? I think wearing onesies to an event. I think mm -hmm. that would definitely build character. I don't know if it's brand focus per se, if that's really. Right. I mean, it could. It could. Yeah. Had a, mm. I think we need a mascot. Maybe we need mm -hmm. like a hip dog mascot Ooh, of some kind. We can dress as golden retriever. <laughs> right? <Hey>. Right? <laughs> Or what is Pip a golden retriever? Pip, oh, he is. Pip is? Okay. Pip is, I think. I don't know. Pip doesn't like me. I'm just oh. I bring him snacks all the time. Um, okay, other tips and stuff that you think that are kind of important for team recruiting 
that you've experienced. Let's see if we have any questions. That's my sister, y'all, with the tail. <laughs> Hey, Christmas present for you, sister. Right? I love mm -hmm. yeah. It's in the mail. This is right. <laughs> That's the best. Um, okay, so <laughs> last, my, my last, Courtney's last point is just fear in general. Yes. Just don't be scared. You know, my 2018 word, I, I told everyone they need a word for 2018, and mine was brave. And do things that, like, you're kind of uncomfortable with. Maybe that's... Um, Going a live video. on social media. Yes, I know. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Every, everyone knows. Everybody it's like I get it. like the highest thinking about going live. But go do something uncomfortable like email or take a wine bottle after you drop your kids off and go to the retirement community and say, hey, do you all folks want to do wine tasting? You know, do something that's not normal. Like veer off your normal path. Do something a little brave, a little daring, and don't let fear get in your way of asking people and spreading the message and spreading the whole clean crafted movement. So yes, Lisha is is who that girl will be at a wine bar and she is not afraid mm. to talk to the people going, Ew, did you know? And like Do you know she, the crap in your wine you're yes, drinking. She will even ask them, Can I bring in my own wine? <laughs> I mean, that, I mean, but you know, again, it's just, again, whatever you're comfortable with, maybe you need a little wine at the bar next to you before For you go sure. in. Right. And that's okay. And, and if you're not comfortable doing a video, I think videos right now are so hot right now on Facebook, Google loves YouTube. You can post it on a YouTube. If you don't want to go live, you can record it. There are lots of apps out there where you can just record the video. If you don't like it, you can do it 24 more thousand times. You can and you can do, do like a okay. video collage. My, my 10 year old has taught me about by the way, he taught me about like drive, like the Google Drive and Google Slides and all that and iVideo, how you can make like a whole like lots of videos into one. One video, oh. right? And then, you know, if you don't want your face, you can also just do it, um, you know, to where well, you're unveiling, you're undoing your kit, you're undoing your thing. Um, but, and again, pictures are great, but right now, again, videos are so hot. So again, if you're even just videoing it, you don't have to show your face, you're just talking and you're doing that. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do all this. <laughs> I mean, but this is so fun. <laughs> it though. is fun. Oh. I love this. It's yes. the best to get to connect. And you guys have such a great team and a great, you know, connectedness. So on top of that, what are some of your things that you do? And I know because team building, right? Team building is recruiting and it's also like managing your team. So things that you manage that you have. So you have your own group, right? The Wild Vines. And then ways that you kind of touch base and to make sure that you're being engaged with your Consultants, what are things that you like to do? We have like a basic checklist of things like once you join, like here's some things to get you started. Get your Facebook up, promote it, book your first tasting. Then knowledge, like getting people. I, I feel like confidence is such an issue when you join. Like I don't want to have like a tasting until I'm super confident with the product. That's baloney. I couldn't even, I didn't know the difference between Cabernet and Chardonnay when I first started. I mean, right? I, it was bad. I still don't. Sarah, we, Sarah will have two wines. We were tasting at Scout School, and I'm like, I know we were by each other. I know. I was like, so we, I both loved them both. One's the traditional way, the American way, and one's like the not French in the French I oak. And I can't tell the Sarah. difference. I know. I'm working on that again, and that comes oh. right, and that's okay. Again, um, you don't have to have. It's just no. more knowing what what it is to guarantee that. It is that. a journey for the love of America. Yes, that we're not. And so treat it like that. You're right. new. You just start learning and let it be a gradual process. Pop in your earphones when you're in the car and listen to Wine for Normal People. That's a great podcast. Love that. Um, it's called Wine for Normal People, and it really does break it down into like. Oh, what 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 is that? This is fish bladder, ice and glass. Oh. I made the mistake of googling ice and glass. So vegan wines, just, just, just. Looks like it. It's a. I probably shouldn't show that then. Um, yes. Yeah, so yes, yeah, this is this is ice and glass. That's this is what they take from the fish bladder. It's the inside of a fish. Sorry about that. Shield your eyes, anybody who gets nauseous. So those are the things. So a vegan wine. Why is a vegan wine important? Just when I tell people that, that I right. want to make sure that. Oh, it's I thought all wines were vegan. Oh. Well, yeah, it's grapes. Yeah. Right, it's grapes, grapes, right? Grapes, right. <laughs> right? So taking tidbits of information and putting those out there on yes. a weekly basis and just focusing on that. We don't, we're vegan wines and just, you can post one thing's a vegan wine, but then follow up with some stories, follow up with some pictures. Maybe not that picture. No. But similar but pictures. But on that note though, like the search function in a group, like if yes. you put type in the search function, vegan, 
it will pull up on the crazy seller everything that's been posted about vegan wine. So if you're new, use that search function and you will get so much knowledge and then the file section, the album section. Chris is so amazing. Look at, at point I like posting like such wine geek stuff. Like and it will make you so much better and more confident if you just learn a lot more. And again, it, it can take like 10, just say 10 minutes before bed. I'm going to sit on my phone and read about wine, you know? Right? Yes, yes. And great things, comments coming through. So Melissa, and then we're saying, you know, it, it, don't be afraid to hear no, right? And again, they're just going to say no. Totally. No does You're not. You're going to hear no. Right? Sticks and stones may hurt you. Break my like, bones, but words will never no. hurt me. Yes, it's just no. It's okay if they say no. Like, you know, and I'll sometimes just say it. I'm funny. Hey, are you sure? You sure you don't want to do this? We have until, and now with the Founders Club situation, right now, recruiting is hot. I mean, we could say, you have until August 30th to get signed up. You have a whole year to make Founders Club. Yes. Y'all, just tell people, if you're willing to work, I yeah. can get you there. Yes, yes. Period. And we're all My drop, help. walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Jacqueline, they all taste like River Rock to me. Yes, now I can't even see River Rock without thinking, oh, yeah. is that an awesome fun sure. thing? Constance wants to give a shout out to her leader, Jimmy and Candace. So love that. Um, and do you, Aaron, do you feel like you're talking to preschoolers? <laughs> Maybe because of the onesie. I know. I think I am I a preschooler. Mean, sadly enough. You're so sad. I never... <laughs> and if you weren't at scout school too, we were talking about how facts tell and stories sell. Yes. So if you use that in like the whole recruiting process too, like tell the story of Sarah and how this whole thing came about. The whole um, clean crafted movement and stuff. And then if you get around to the wine, fine. But... Or if you get around to the comp plan, okay, fine too. <laughs> but I mean, if you do such a good like way of like painting the picture and storytelling and stuff, then maybe they'll be like, I don't care what the comp plan is. Sign me up. Sign me up. So don't yes. be like, is Sarah founded it by blah, 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 blah. Just tell a to. story. Yeah, like paint the picture. There's just an attorney, yeah. mom, two kids. Level three psalm is pretty cool. I will say that. I can't say the full word. I bet you can. Sommelier. Sommelier. Uh, sommelier. Sommelier. Is it sommelier or sommelier? sommelier. Sommelier. Anyway. Just kind of yeah, mumble, so mumble it. Mumble it. Just be like, psalm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My mom always taught me to nod and smile. I don't know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Oh, and Trish just asked a question actually separately as a text, and I want to answer you. That's okay. She asked if we have anything about fit fine. So, Yes, again, in files, there's actually one. I probably need to change the name of it. It's actually a comparison chart. It's a, um, I forgot what I had it called. Um, direct seller. It's like a, it was, yeah, it was something. It's, a, it's something, it, it's a chart. It's an Excel. I'll find yeah. it for you, Trish. But it's, it kind of has um, some information about all the other direct sales or companies that are out there. So uh, traveling vineyard, direct sellers, um, Hump, Basically, it's the most unnatural fine. way of making wine, and there's more chemicals than that. It's yes. basically like saying, I'm going to buy a Nutrien bar and lose weight because you're feeding your body like so many like GMOs yeah. and horrible like processed things. And it's the most they... over processed way of making yeah. a wine. And they even talk about it. They even they're, say, They're like, We've got it down to a science. We've got it down to a science. We uh, make our wine in a lab, mm, our process, it's all made in and a we're lab. okay with that. And, we're and fine. you know what? We're not okay with that because that's no. really kind of gross. And it's just everything oh. that they're they're using and the grapes that they're purchasing and the pest, all that stuff. And they're using the word clean now, which is pretty interesting. I saw them uh. kind of using that word. And again, um, our testing that we do is so just unique to us. It was something that Sarah, and she can't go through the long list, but there's like 70, 76 oh. different chemical compounds um, Who that was at that taste Houston for? tasting that we did where we tasted Fit Vine after oh. we tasted a couple clean crafts and, and, and then I tricked people. You gave it to me, right? Yes, and then, yes. And then we tasted it and I think, uh, was it Elizabeth? Who was there? And they're like, this tastes like gasoline. Yeah, It tastes like gasoline. It's that burn, especially the oh. red ones gives that, it's that little chemical kind of a burn. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, don't you, you know, you, I've had people do that, you know, you, and people are sometimes afraid. Well, what if I get out there and they can't taste the difference? Trust me, you can taste the difference between Absolutely. like a fit vine and that. So, um, but yes, and then um, again, the dry farm wines. Again, I know some people have questions about them, and a lot of times when you're recruiting, they'll ask, "Well, what's what's the difference to that?" So that those are again obstacles that you run into. And again, I have a, a, an Excel sheet that kind of has those things um, on there for you. Um, you know, that talks about the different 
things and what they have and what we don't have. And they're all just I kind of I think one weird. of the main yeah, things, like though, is Sarah is, like, off in France and Portugal and wherever. Like, we send Aaliyah to... I mean, Chile, she was telling us all about her South American, like, travels to find us wine. Like, we are going to all corners of the world to find, to, like, bring wine to your doorstep. Like, they're, they got their vineyard in California. Hip, yes. hip, hooray. No, that's lame. Like, right, yeah. that is so all lame. All over the world. Yes. Like, our wines are from Austria and Spain and Portugal and France. I mean, like, Germany. that's amazing. That's the story. Like... You're going to find wine and varietals you've never heard of. And that's the journey of the it. journey, like, yes. And people who are doing it out there. When you look at that story that's on Vimeo, and it's also on our pages too, about when Sarah went to Austria and they were interviewing some of those people. And there's a Christian, Christian yes. one, talking about how he's doing this for his family. I mean, this is like... The pride. The it's pride like, of that is just amazing. And I think that's something our that... people know. They don't have pride. And no offense, but they have antlers for their like... Right. That's like lame. Animal antlers, so their wines can't be vegan, right? Because, like, that's just gross. You can't right. have antlers as your, like, logo. Right. No, that's anyway, just like, mm -mm. We're not talking bad. We're just saying we are different and we they are... They mean, basically, you're amazing. a horrible, horrible <laughs> human being if you ever buy wine from them. It's that compassion thing. It's about, oh, like... Oh, sorry, sorry. Passion and oh. compassion. It's like a marriage of, like, the two. I'm working on it, okay? Oh. I'm working on it. <laughs> Any other questions while we're here? We need a few, like... I wonder if we should do a challenge of like if you you know maybe doing a video and then tagging a, tagging me in it and like okay going I'll, I'll do a video for a crazy seller do a video in thirty seconds of your wine oh score do a video of your wine and maybe what how many people the first the first ten people I have, yeah. ten, I have ten of these puppies first ten people that go on a crazy seller and post their why a video. A right? video. A video. And again, no essay. This, this is your trial run. You're not doing it yeah. out public. You're just doing not, it to we're us. We're not reposting. We're not going to judge. If you do it at night, half of us have already had wine. Hey, you can be in your jammies in bed and just onesies. post your wine. Right? You can be in your onesie. I will post that too on the notes too. And then I'll post some of our notes too about the C's and kind of just some basics about what we talked about. Um, Courtney, you're amazing. Um, let's see. Anyone just heard about that book? Oh, well, guess what? Oh, we're talking about. Um, what was the book you were talking about? Get over your damn self. Get over your damn self. I mean, it sounds bad, guys, right. but it's by the girl, one of the top people in Rodan and Fields, and she was a, like, was in the publicity business, had a, like, a six-figure income, quit her job, and did straight Rodan and Fields, and makes over a million dollars a year. Wow. So, if you have any questions about what it takes to build that, or even a fraction of that. Y'all, her book, there's so many tidbits I take from it. And I'll be in the carpool line. I have it in my console, so I'll pull it out. And oh I just gosh. read a few pages. Or you can buy it on audio, too. But if you're struggling at all... Oh, she's a lawyer. Of course she is. Mm, yeah, of course. Oh, they Damn it. Anyway, I'm going to law school next. I really need to go to law school. <laughs> but that whole compassion thing would right, probably, yeah. you know... <laughs> So, anyways, um, yes, yeah. oh my gosh, Rockstar, I appreciate it. Yes, we'll put out the contest. First 10 yes. people that do their why on the video on the Crazy Seller. It's your test run of your video. Yes. I will send you a Scout and Seller insulated wine cup. It's a great conversation starter to get out there, which is fun. Drink coffee in it, drink wine, promote the company. My little guys drink out of it because they think they're cool. <laughs> and you know what? Better yet, take it and give it to your next wine club member. Yes. I love that. Just saying. Just saying. Genius. Oh, wait. Courtney, you're the yeah. best. Cheers. Thanks for yeah. your time. Everybody have a good night. Thanks for joining. Thanks, guys. Bye. Oh, watch Care Bear coming up. Coming in hot. Care Bear's coming in close. Coming in hot. Coming in close. Coming in close. Coming in close. <laughs>